Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Russell. I'm here with my wife, Haley. We're from God of Life Ministries International, and we put this daily devotion together to give you hope. We want to encourage you, for we know that the Word of God has a lot to say to you and to me. And as we make declaration of the Word, as we declare the Word together, as we speak the Word together, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other all the more as we see the day approaching. Hi, welcome to Word of God Speak. We want to speak words of encouragement from the Bible into your life today. We want to come uh, today to declare that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and He's the Lord of Lords. You know, you might be at a place in your life where you're thinking, you know, what should you believe in? What should you stand in? I want to encourage you today to stand on what the Bible has to say, to seek out the Savior of this world. We have uh, been reading from John chapter 14, 15, and 16, and today we're going to continue reading from John chapter 15. Uh, we're reading from verse 13 to verse 17. We just want to bless you as we wash you with the Word of God. Yeah, we've been taking extra special snippets out from mm. these chapters just to bless you and just to encourage you that the Holy Spirit is sent to be with you. Mm -hmm. When Jesus said that he's going away, you know, he didn't leave us as orphans, but he sent his Holy Spirit so that we can encourage, be encouraged by God and that we can encourage one another. Amen. So in verse 13, we read that greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I have learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. You know, when I was growing up, I, used, I went to school and, and college and people would say to me, what are you gonna do with your life? Mm. And I never really knew and, I, and it used to really confuse me. It was like the worst question that I could ever have been asked. But God says here, you know, that we will know his business. And I found that when I got born again and saved for Jesus, that I knew what I was called to do and that, that God would be my boss and that I would work for him for the rest of my life. Yeah, I think something that's important to, to mention here, it talks about how the, the world can't receive the Holy Spirit. The world has a problem with the Holy Spirit. And uh, just as I was, uh, I was looking through just the scriptures we're, we're reading, we're talking about um, how the love of the Father comes through Christ. And then Christ is saying, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father and how his love is coming on to us. And, and, and the command is, love each other as I've loved you. Can't you see the example that Christ is setting? But God also right now wants to give us a reason why we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals the very purposes of God to us. You know, it says here, you did not choose me, but I chose you. Just catch the revelation right now. God is choosing you. It says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God has a plan for you, but we need the Holy Spirit in our life. We need to receive the gift of God so that we can understand what the Word has to say. So today, if you're looking at the Word and you're saying, does this make sense? How do I plan my career? How do I plan my future? What's my destiny? What is my purpose? You know, God doesn't call us servants anymore, but he calls us friends. Today, I encourage you to be a friend of God. We want to pray for you right now and just release the presence of God into your life. Be a friend of God. Understand the business of what God has to say. And remember that you are chosen and accepted into the beloved. That's right. I want to thank you for joining with us. Until tomorrow, God bless.